Hey guys, today we are going to be learning about trigonometry for just to make it easy, I'm naming it trig. Now, trigonometry happens to be the study of relationships between the sides and angles of a triangle. We are going to be talking about right triangles only. So, there's got to be a 90 degree, and one of the acute angles we will label it as theta. First, let me label the diagram so that this is ABC. Now the side which is opposite to theta or the angle C happens to become opposite. The side which is opposite to the 90 degree is has a special name and that is hypotenuse. Now the side which is next to A uh, next to the angle C or part of the angle C is called the adjacent. Now, as I said, trigonometry is a relationship between the angles and the sides of this triangle. So, I've got to have some kind of relationship where this is given as the ratios, trigonometric ratios. Now, the trigonometric ratios happen to be 6 in number totally. But only 3 out of the 6 are very important or the basic and the other 3 are reciprocals. So, if we just remember the first three, then we are set for life. We do not have to worry about the other three. They will follow. Let's quickly move on to what are they. Now, the first ratio is called the sine of the angle theta. Okay, and I need the diagram again. So, let's just say A, B, C, theta, 90. This is my opposite my adjacent and my hypotenuse. So the sine of angle A or just sin sin theta is equal to the opposite length divided by the hypotenuse, the ratio of the opposite side to the hypotenuse, which in this case happens to be BC by AC. Now the second ratio is called the cosine of angle A again, just to keep it simple, I am always using the angle A. So, cosine of angle A in short form is written as cos theta and that happens to be the adjacent over hypotenuse where my adjacent is AB and the hypotenuse as we already know is AC. Now, the third ratio is called the tangent tangent of angle A again the short form is tan theta and that is the side opposite by the side adjacent which is BC by AB. Now tan theta alone can be written in terms of sine and cos which is sine theta given as sorry sine theta over cos theta tan theta this obviously if we expand we end up with opposite divided by hypotenuse over adjacent by hypotenuse finally it's all the same so in problems where we have the three different sides we can directly find the ratios in problems where we have only one side, we can use Pythagoras theorem and a combination of the ratio to find the third side. Now, we will do the problems later in the next video. For this video, I will stick with only the ratios. So, this is 3 down, 3 more to go. Yeah, so, as I said, those were the three basic ratios. Now comes the three reciprocal ratios. Now for reciprocal ratios, it's pretty simple and straightforward. All you need to remember is which one happens for, to, for what. The first one is cosecant of A, angle A, which is written as cosec theta. And that happens to be the reciprocal of our first ratio, which was sin theta. So this ends up being equal to hypotenuse by opposite. Now again, I need the diagram, so let me just quickly draw one here, A, B, C, angle theta over here, if I'm not wrong. So this makes it A, C by 
opposite which is BC. The second is called the secant, second re uh, reciprocal ratio and the fifth trigonometric ratio in order. Secant of angle A which is sec theta and that is the reciprocal of cos theta. So again I get f is by adjacent which is again AC by AB this time. Coming to the third, the third was tan theta so obviously there has got to be a reciprocal for tan and that we will call it as cotangent of angle A in short cot theta which is 1 by tan theta and that is adjacent over opposite which is AB over BC. As I already mentioned tan theta can be written in terms of sin and cos likewise cot tan can also be that is cot theta can also be written in terms of sin and cos. So that would be reciprocal of cos over sin theta. Now these ratios actually give a direct uh, relationship between your angle and the side length which is actually what trigonometry is all about. It talks about three things sides, angles and triangles that is why it is trigonometry. Now, problems related to all these ratios will be as I mentioned earlier dealt in the next video and uh, for this video yeah there is one more thing which I remember. Now for some people it, they find it difficult to remember which one is the reciprocal of what. So what they can do is they could just remember things in this order. Now for sign it starts with an S then the reciprocal will start with a C, it is cosecant. Cosine starts with a C, the reciprocal starts with a S, secant. Cot and tan obviously it is too easy so we should not have any problem but this is just a hint to remember your trigonometric ratios accurately. Thank you so much for watching this video.